Uh, hi there, so um, today we're going to look at um, changing the host lane for a, a Raspberry Pi. Uh, so I'll just pull up my slide, show me. There we go, so uh, we've already installed the image. If you haven't done that already, you need to uh, check out that video. And today we're going to change the host lane. Alrighty, so I'm just going to pull up a Raspberry Pi session. It's gonna uh, use the IP address, connect by put putty. Okay, so pi raspberry. Okay, and we're in. All right. So what I want to do is I want to change this name here, Raspberry Pi part. And also when I uh, log into my um, router. So I'll just pull it in here. So let's pull it in. So I'm just going to connect to my router here. There it is, TP link. I'll go to DHCP. And there's my Raspberry Pi there. See that? Raspberry Pi. So, what I mean, you know, if I've got a few of these running on the network, I don't want them all called the same. And that's my IP right there. Okay, so. We're going to have to do this as a super user, so SUDO. And I'm going to go slash UTC, oops, slash UTC. Actually, no. So no. Slash UTC. Name. There it is, Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to change this. I'll change it to extra. Yeah. Uh, control X on Nano. Control X. Yes. All except changes. Alright. Alright. So I'm also going to change the host file. Sudo. Hello, ETC hosts. There it is at the bottom line. There, I've just got to change that. So that's how it's going to connect via DNS. So I'll call that uh, extra net. Same. Control X. Y to say, yep, and then I'm going to make sure that that runs. So, run this etc init dot b this name dot sh. It'll set up, so I'm going to do a reboot. sudo reboot. And the uh, session's going to close. Like you can see there. Just close that. Just let my Raspberry Pi re uh, reboot. Alright, I'm looking at it now, so the lights will just come on. It's lights there. Alright, we'll just start a new session. There you go, Pi now. Just what's the name of the uh, of the machine? Raspberry. There it is. It's now Pi at Extranet. That's a good thing. There. And I'll just pull up my browser. And 
here it is here and what refresh device PACP look it's now called Ethernet but it's got the same IP address ok so now everything on the network is seeing it by that name Okay, catch you next time.